My name is Jimmy. <laughs> I do racing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Do I actually sound like that? No. <laughs> and out. Uh, this is my car. <laughs> I don't know. Can I stop now? Hey everyone, Jimmy here again, bringing you highlights from last night's um, prototype GT race. Um, as you can see here, I started second on the grid. Um, I got jumped a bit by the uh, guy in the free car off the line. Uh, it got a big gap in me towards the first corner, almost up to half a second already, considering it's the first lap. Obviously, that wasn't ideal. Um, I didn't qualify for this race um, just because uh, I kind of jumped into it because of Eric, uh, my friend Eric, who was in one of my previous videos. Um, I said I'll get in this race and I just really just jumped in. Uh, I had done a bit of practice beforehand so I was you know, quite adept at the track so it wasn't too bad. Um, as you can see, um, kind of closing the gap slightly to the guy in front. Uh, running third gear through that corner um, instead of second because the drive's better in third gear. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good race this, it's quite interesting. I mean, um, you'll see why so as, as, as we get into the video. Uh, but I, I did enjoy it. Um, it was actually a very clean race for me. I managed to not have a single encounter throughout the entire race. So I was very happy with that and kind of went from there. Um, as you can see, uh, me, the free car and the car behind kind of breaking away from the other two GTs and uh, the, the free and I more from the, the purple guy behind us. So we were, we were pretty quick to be honest. Um, Something that um, you may see is I've got a new paint scheme on my car, um, custom paint job by um, Tactical Cardboard. If you ever, uh, if you haven't seen his videos, I recommend going to see uh, some of them. I've, I've linked some of them in the past. They're very good videos to watch. So, thank you to him for his awesome paint scheme, and uh, it brought me luck this race, and you'll see why. Um, I chose to skip a couple of laps ahead because uh, basically me and the the free car pulled away from the rest of the GTs, and we were running a similar pace. This Corvette here was actually racing us overall position. Um, yeah, I had the feeling he didn't really do much practice before coming into this race because, well, we were keeping up in, uh, with him in four GTs and uh, he actually ends up holding us up a little bit, which I think was, well, it wasn't bad on his behalf, but if you can't run fast in four GTs with you know, a couple of hundred less horsepower than you, um, then something's wrong with that, less downforce and all that. As you can see through here, um, number three car definitely trying to get past him, but there's nowhere to go because this guy's using the whole of the road, having the speed advantage here. Um, here the free car managed to skip through on the inside and I have to kind of like throw myself through as well if I want to stay in touch with him. Unfortunately again we come to the straight and he just pulls away and I take a tight line for no reason, kind of losing speed. Um, I, I get into the draft but as you can see I'm already losing time with him because of his Corvette. It's up from, about, up from you know a car length to about three or four now so um, that was frustrating. Traffic is a big part of multi-class but this isn't what it should be. Um, here's some more uh, examples of traffic here. Yeah, you see a close look up to the free car decently, but um, yeah, the, the, the Prolos have such speed that they can do this in the corners, and I, I can't turn any of them because I'll ruin my race in theirs. And that corner is actually quite an important corner for speed, as is this corner. And my, my entry and exit was compromised for both, which, as you can see, really affected my gap to the uh, the free car in front. The car behind us now is actually Eric. Um, I do a good job of holding Eric up in this. Uh, next corner, I don't really mean to but um, I wanted the line and I needed to kind of keep on the back of him. I try and go wide to let him through but you know, the damage has been done. I'm sure he wasn't very happy with that. You can see here just the amount of cars on the track and the gap now between me and the, um, the other GT. We're actually lapping the last place um, GT now, I think it was in fifth, it was five running I believe in our race. Um, so I'm trying to dispatch the traffic as quick as I can but um, it is difficult. Um, luckily the gap between us kind of shrinks up a little bit now as we re-encounter this Corvette um, who passed us earlier. As you can, uh, he didn't, I think he went off or something uh, because again we were battling him for overall position which is pretty, pretty not, not, really, not even satisfying, it's just frustrating because uh, if you see here like he, he takes the inside line whereas I would, I would be able to take that normally and it costs me more time and I can't run it around the outside because he's got the speed advantage even though I get a better exit than him. And, you know, um, it, it was just a, it was quite frustrating at this point because I was I was losing time to the guy in front. We were running on a similar pace, um, kind of doing. I think we hit fast that, but at the end of the race was a 129.8, one was a 130.1. So we weren't too far far apart on pace, but you can see now the gap is you know it's widened right out, more because of traffic. But I shouldn't complain. It's a multi-class series. I know what I'm getting into when I, when I signed up for it. So yeah, but. Um, 
the guy not behind us, but the guy in the white prototype that's better behind us is um, John Tammy. He was in the other race before, another one of our league members. So I tried to be fair with letting him pass, but I nearly ran him off as well. Um, and then here I made a mistake, went a bit wide. You can see the car kind of shake a little bit on the ex, um, kind of apex, well, say the apex, what would have been the apex of the corner if I hit it right. Um, but yeah, the gap that now, to, you know, I think it's about two or three seconds, and I, I was cutting behind the wheel a little bit. But as you go, now I um, I cut forward a bit here to a couple of laps later. I've caught up a tiny bit, but not much. Obviously, I'm still quite far in the background there. The Corvette overtakes the free car. Uh, we think, okay, I think now, okay, well, that's it. Now it's going to be a straight race to me and the free. The Corvette runs wide and uh, tries to get on the power a little bit too early and it's a wheel on the grass and actually takes out the free car. Um, you see me just in the top right going past. Um, I don't know how I feel about this because uh, this did effectively give me the race. Uh, well, here is it from my view pro going to a bit further you can see i just get overtaken by a prototype and on the right big cloud of smoke and a corvette mtc sitting in the gravel um i did ask him if he had damage and unfortunately he was too damaged to go on so um even if he appeared he would have come out a long way behind me so this effectively gave me the race so yeah i'm not sure how i feel about that kind of taking the lead that way um but that was effectively the rest of the race i mean um about 10 laps later I was still leading, uh, the, I think I lapped the second place GT just due to him having problems and Rio was just running slowly, you can see the Corvette still behind us, um, so we actually beat this Corvette in a race <laughs> um, over 25 minutes, even though he's in a higher class than us, uh, I think the message to him would be to practice more for coming to an official race because he damaged um, he damaged someone else's race, he damaged a good race to me and John, um, the number 3 car that I was enjoying our race, I really didn't do it. It's a shame it in that way. Um, like I said again, big shout out to uh, Tactical Carboard for this paint scheme. Very awesome. I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> Makes me feel like a, a pro race driver. And um, yeah, I hope, hope you enjoyed this little snippet. So, um, first win, no encounters, first race of the season. So, things are looking good. Hopefully, we can keep them that way. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.